Okay, welcome to the Banner Rotator Tool um, update and installation. This is a an advanced tool. It requires a license from ILGM. It's $25 per site. You can use this uh, image rotation tool as many times on your website as you want. But it's XML driven. And what that means is that there's a flash module that you're going to plug into your content using the editor. And then you're going to update an XML file with a simple notepad that will tell the flash movie what images to display, what links, what text, and so on. What you see here is a basic use of it with rounded corners. It has a timer here to let the person know what's going on. But you can also take this to the next level, as we see here, and you can have um, you can you can switch the, the this orientation. You can change the size. When you mouse over the buttons, you can have each one of these go to a particular section of a website. They're all clickable as well as the main image is clickable. You can change the transitions and everything. Most of this information is documented in the PDF that comes with it when you license it. Here's a basic documentation. This will tell you all of the XML attributes like what the height and the width and the background color is and so on. Generally, ILGM will set it up the first time for you and help you get started and then after that all you have to do is maintain the XML but if you wanted to add this into multiple places on your website, you can. And we encourage that you do. So let's get started. What we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and show you how to go from the very beginning of your website, including a Soho, and we're going to install the banner tool so that it, it does image display right here in this section of the website. So let's take a look at the two pieces of code that runs this movie. I've gone ahead and opened it up in a notepad for you here and I've color coded it so that you can see this a little bit easier. This is the first part of it. This is the um, part that you're going to cut and paste right into the editor and this is what's going to actually run the movie. It's, as you can see you have three options to change things in here. You have the ability to change the whether or not this is going to be left, right, or in the center of your content. You have the ability to change the size which is your width and your height of your movie and in this case it's 400 wide by 245 high and then you have the option to change the data file now changing the data file is important because if you have multiple movies running on your website you want to have multiple data files because each of the data files are going to tell this movie what images to display so basically all that you're going to do with this piece of code here is cut and paste it make a couple of changes and you're good to go the other part of this is the actual XML script and that's what we have here and like I mentioned before this document this help document here runs through what all of these different attributes are so you have the ability to change background colors you have the ability to change whether or not it's going to have square corners versus rounded corners you can change how the transition from image to image goes all of that is displayed right here you can also leave it just the way it is and run it as is. The key to this is the is the item list, which you see right here, and in the item list is each one of your images. So what do we have here? In short, we have a button label. As you saw the when we moused over earlier, it popped up and had different names. You can put in different labels for those buttons. We'll go ahead and do that real quick. So we can label each one of those. This is going to be where your image resides and we'll show you that in a minute. If you want this image to have a link, you type in the link here. If you want it to have a target, blank will open a new window. No target will leave it in the same window. The delay and the blend, these are all documented in the PDF. And then this text right here is what's going to display at the bottom of the image if you want any text at all to display. That's it. That's all you have to know. And once you get your XML set up the first go round with all of your paths, the rest is pretty easy. But the important part here is knowing what this path is. And in this case, it's user file slash, slash flash slash banner images. We're going to change banner images to home page so that we can have multiple directories to store all of our images for each data file that we have. 
Now that we've had a look at the two data files, let's look at how all of this gets put together. So let's go back to our website. We're going to go ahead and drop that rotator in right here. So to do that, the first thing that we need to do is we need to jump into the ad administration. So we'll go ahead and duplicate the tab. Type in admin. Go ahead and log in if you're not already logged in. The first thing that I like to do is I like to get my images online so that I know exactly where they're going to be before I start editing those two pieces of code. So I'm going to go over to tools and in classic this will be from business tools. You're going to look for file manager and this is how you're going to get your files onto your website. We're going to put these in the flash directory so we're going to double click on flash we're going to put them in a, a new directory called home page. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to hit new folder. I'm going to call this home page. Because that's where these images are going to be. They're going to be on the home page. So now I click on the screen. I'm going to double click home page. And now I'm in user files flash home page and I'm ready to upload. So I'm going to click on the upload tool the icon right here and I'm gonna click browse move this over so you can see it and I'm gonna go find my images and select them We don't need that flash. Take that out. So there's my six. We'll go ahead and upload. Okay, now they're uploading. All six files are on the system. That was pretty quick, pretty fast. Now we're ready to go. So we'll go ahead and say OK. So now we have all of our images online. And from here, if you want to edit or change your images, you can upload new ones. You can right click you can rename them, you can delete them, you can do whatever you want to to your images. But remember, if you delete them from here, you have to remove them from your XML as well. So now that our images are uploaded, we need to get our XML file on the system. So we're going to go back up one. I like putting all my XML files in the flash directory. Let's go look at the XML file and make sure that our paths are correct. So if you remember, we put them in user file, flash, home page, and this XML file has banner images. So let's change this really quick. So we'll go through and make sure that all of our directory paths are correct and that the XML file knows where our images are. So there's our six images, there's our six paths, as you can see now. This right here is going to match this home page right here. So it's the exact same thing. All right. So now that we have our XML file updated, let's go ahead and save it. And now let's put it on the system. And we do the same thing that we did with our images. So from here, we'll click File Upload. We'll hit Browse. We'll go to our directory. And there's our home page XML file that we're working with. We'll upload that really quick. Okay, that's done. Now we have home page right there. So if your rotator is already installed and you just want to make some changes to it, you want to update some of the images and maybe some of the text, some of the links, all you have to do is is upload your images like we did for a new one but then you're gonna wanna download the XML file so that you can edit it this is how you get it and all you need to do is right click on it and hit the download file when the dialog pops up you'll wanna hit save the file this will save it to your hard drive so you hit save you pick a place that you want it to be and then you hit save 
And now your file's downloaded and it's ready to be edited. And then when you're when you're done editing it, my recommendation is is that you right click on the existing one, hit rename, give it a name like um, dash v1 for version one, and then you'll go ahead and upload the new file by hitting browse, just like we did a, a little bit ago. Go to where you downloaded it at and where it's already been edited. Find your edit file, hit upload, you're ready to go. This way if something happens and the new file that you uploaded is corrupt or you've mistyped something, you still have the original one always there. So the only thing that we have left now is to drop in the cut is to cut and paste the banner code right into the editor and then we're done. So let's head over to the editor of the home page. Okay, here's our home page. We're going to drop that in right here. The first thing that we've got to do is we've got to make sure that our flash is pointing to the right data file. Remember, we uploaded home page and this says data.xml. So we change that to home page and we're good to go. So now we're going to just select all of this and we're going to copy it. Now that we've copied it, we're going to go ahead and paste it into the editor. So we're going to click on Manage Pages. We're going to click on Home. And here, here's our content. Now we're going to take this one step further. I like having my text wrap around my photos and images and, and so, so on. So I'm going to drop a table in here real quick. I'm going to stick it right here. I'm going to make it real simple it's going to be one row, one column, no headers, border size can be zero. We're going to tell it to align to the right. Now this will let our text wrap around our table and we're going to paste the banner code that we just copied right into this table and it's going to give us a nice clean layout. We're going to say we don't care how wide it is and spacing and padding is going to be zero. So there's our table right here, and it's aligned to the right. Now we're going to look at our source. Here's our table that it just ins inserted. So here's our cells. We're going to take this, and we're going to control V, and we're going to paste that code right here. Now I know we talked about aligning this right here, but this alignment is a is a different kind of tag, and it will only it'll align left, center, and right, but it won't wrap the text around it. So I like keeping everything in tables kind of like a puzzle, a two-dimensional puzzle, and it gives me control over where everything's going to be. So now that we've just pasted that code right in, we can look at the source. Here's our table still right there. We're going to go ahead and hit save, and then we'll take a look at the front and see what we've got. So here's the front. We'll go ahead and hit reload. Now there's our movie. Here's our text. It's wrapped around it nice and clean and then the movie is rotating to different transitions as you can see and then when we mouse over it you can see those image one two three and four those buttons that we clicked on and they're clickable so somebody can go to them directly and as you can see this is is not too difficult it's pretty easy and now that you've got a video you can go and refer back to this over and over again so if you have any questions feel free to leave comments in the support forums underneath this video and we'll do the best that we can to answer them as quickly as we can. I hope you've enjoyed this video. You guys have a good day.